I enjoy working with players. I've been out for the longest time I've ever been out. And uh, I have to be perfectly honest, I have been... I thought I was over it. Um, <laughs> I'm not. When I say unfortunately, I say unfortunately because that comes from my wife's mouth. Well, I mean, you always look at the job and say, how difficult is it going to be? And have you got an opportunity to try and turn it around and use your experience, which you, or I have done in many, many occasions uh, over the last few years, Jim, and I, I only hope I can have the same influence at West Brom with no guarantees, of course, that I've had at, you know, other clubs, many other clubs, such as Sunderland, Blackburn, even Everton and uh, Crystal Palace, you know. One of my first questions is, is I might need help, but obviously in January, if we can. And that is, if, if we can, then can we find a better player than we've already got? And only if it's a better player do I, would I want to bring him in. That's a difficult task because of COVID, because of the understanding of the club and because of where they are at the moment. So they are prepared to, yes, get some players. We need to find where those players are. And who wants to let a player go in this pandemic? I mean, that is a... Yeah, particular problem. Uh, I can't. I can't suggest at this moment in time how many players we need. By the time I'd finished four weeks and no wins in six games at Crystal Palace, I knew exactly what we needed to yeah. do, and uh, obviously push push Steve beyond the brink of really probably where he wanted to go, which paid off in the end. You know, so it is going to be a very important part, I think, because you know why the players here are trying their very best in a fantastic, gutsy performance at Manchester City. It's always good when a player sees a new player come in and then sees that player on the training ground who's going to yeah. make them better, you know. But the difficulty is finding that player and we'll have to do our best to try and do that. Oh, like I said, it's difficult at the start. Sometimes you might say to yourself that it's not going as well as you'd like, particularly when the early days at Palace, why did I do this? But when you wake up the next day, you drive down, you go into the training ground and you look at the players and you get out on the training ground, get out in the fresh air and you try and guide them and try and get them to perform at the highest level they possibly can in the best league in the world, even though it's hugely difficult with COVID and the protocols now have been split up. There's not the same interreaction, but we, you know, and the games are coming thick and fast, but, you know, that's what we're paid for. We're paid to play games, we're paid to try and win games. And, uh, and as long as I can keep the players mentally and physically fit as possible, that will be a key element for me. Don't catch COVID. Don't get injured will be my one of my first two sayings to the players, really, because that could be devastating for any football club, but particularly for us in this position. It is an isolation time where players get COVID or players get injured, and the wrong players get injured at the wrong time. It's going to be very difficult for us to cope at this level, so trying to keep them as fit as possible is a key element to, to helping me to try and succeed.